Section 1. The Art of the Intro – Why They Matter More Than You Think Ever get lost in the woods? Frustrating, right? You wander aimlessly, unsure of which path to take, feeling the anxiety build with every step. It's a disorienting experience that leaves you yearning for a clear direction. Now imagine reading something that feels the same way. Confusing, meandering, no clear path. The words blur together and you find yourself flipping pages back and forth, trying to make sense of it all. It's like being trapped in a maze with no exit in sight. That's what it's like without a good introduction. An introduction serves as a guide, a beacon of light that illuminates the path ahead. Without it, you're left in the dark, struggling to find your way. Intros are like trail markers. They tell the reader where they are, where they're going, and why they should care. They provide context, set the tone, and establish the purpose of the piece. They are the foundation upon which the rest of the content is built. Without them, you risk losing your audience before you even begin. A weak or non-existent introduction can leave readers feeling disconnected and uninterested. They may lose patience and move on to something else, leaving your message unheard. Think about your favorite books. Chances are, they hooked you from the first page. The opening lines drew you in, sparked your curiosity and made you eager to read more. That's the magic of a well-crafted introduction. That's the power of a strong intro. It captivates, engages, and compels the reader to continue. It sets the stage for the story to unfold, creating a sense of anticipation and excitement. It's not just about starting a piece. It's about grabbing the reader's attention and making them want to stay for the ride. A compelling introduction can transform a casual reader into an invested one, eager to see where the journey will take them. So, how do you write an intro that sings? It begins with understanding your audience and what they care about. What are their interests, their pain points, their desires? Tailor your introduction to speak directly to them, addressing their needs and capturing their interest. Stay tuned, because in the next section, we'll dive into the nitty gritty of crafting intros that sparkle. We'll explore techniques, tips and examples that will help you create openings that not only grab attention but also set the stage for a compelling narrative. Whether you're writing an essay, a novel or a blog post, a strong introduction is your key to success. So let's embark on this journey together and unlock the secrets to writing intros that truly matter. Section 2. Setting the stage, crafting intros for each section. Let's talk sections. You've got your grand opening, your big intro. Now what? Each section needs its own mini intro. Think of it like changing scenery in a play. You need to signal to the audience that we're moving on, but the story's still connected. How do we do this smoothly? Questions, my friend. A well-placed question can act as a bridge between ideas. It creates a natural pause, a moment for the reader to catch their breath and prepare for what's next. For example, you might ask, but what makes a question truly effective? See what I did there? I transitioned us seamlessly into the next section by posing a relevant question. And now I'll answer it. Section 3. The Question Game. Engaging readers with thought-provoking queries. Not all questions are created equal. Some questions can spark a lively discussion, while others might lead to a dead end. The art of asking the right question is crucial in engaging your readers and keeping them interested. A good question should be like a good first date. Intriguing, stimulating and leaving you wanting more. It should open doors to new ideas and perspectives, much like how a captivating conversation can make a first date memorable. Avoid questions with yes-no answers. These types of questions can often lead to a quick end to the conversation, providing little room for further exploration or engagement. Aim for open-ended questions that spark curiosity and invite deeper thinking. Think about your audience. What are their interests? What topics are they passionate about? Open-ended questions encourage your readers to think more deeply and share their thoughts and experiences. What keeps them up at night? What are the issues or topics that they find themselves pondering over, even in the quiet moments before sleep? Tailor your questions to resonate with their experiences and perspectives. By doing so, you create a connection with your readers, making them feel understood and valued. For instance, 
Instead of asking, do you like reading? Which might only get a simple yes or no response, you might ask, what book has had the most profound impact on your life? See the difference. This question invites the reader to share a personal story, to reflect on their experiences, and to engage more deeply with the topic. The second question is more personal, more engaging. It opens up a space for the reader to express themselves and to connect with others who might have similar experiences. It invites the reader to reflect and share their own unique story. This kind of engagement is what keeps readers coming back, eager to share more and to see what others have shared. And that's what keeps them hooked. When readers feel that their thoughts and experiences are valued, they are more likely to stay engaged and to participate actively. Now let's move on to another crucial element of keeping your readers engaged, calls to action and surveys. These tools can help you gather valuable feedback and insights from your readers, further enhancing their engagement and your content's relevance. Hash hash section four, calls to action and surveys, keeping your audience engaged. So you've hooked your reader with a killer intro and kept them engaged with thought-provoking questions. But the journey doesn't end there. Keeping your audience engaged is an ongoing process that requires continuous effort and creativity. But how do you keep the conversation going? How do you ensure that your readers remain interested and invested in what you have to say? This is where calls to action and surveys come in. These tools are essential in maintaining a dynamic and interactive relationship with your audience. Think of calls to action as gentle nudges, encouraging your readers to participate actively in the conversation. They are not just passive consumers of content, but active contributors. Ask them to share their thoughts, experiences, or opinions in the comments section. This not only fosters engagement, but also provides you with valuable insights into your audience's perspective. Encourage them to ask questions and engage with other readers. This creates a sense of community and makes your platform a hub for meaningful discussions. Surveys are another great way to gather feedback and keep your audience involved. They offer a structured way to collect opinions and preferences, which can be incredibly useful for tailoring your content. They can be as simple or as detailed as you like, depending on your goals. Whether it's a quick poll or an in-depth questionnaire, surveys can provide you with a wealth of information. For example, you might ask your readers which topics they'd like to see covered in future posts or what kind of content they find most valuable. This not only helps you plan your content strategy, but also makes your readers feel valued and heard. By actively involving your readers, you create a sense of community and encourage them to return for more. This ongoing interaction builds loyalty and keeps your audience coming back. After all, who doesn't love a good conversation? Engaging with your audience in a meaningful way can turn casual readers into dedicated followers. Now, let's wrap things up with a quick recap and a final thought. Remember, keeping your audience engaged is not a one-time effort, but a continuous process. Use calls to action and surveys to foster interaction, gather feedback, and create a sense of community. By doing so, you'll not only keep your readers engaged, but also build a loyal and active audience that looks forward to your content. Hash Hash Section 5 Conclusion The journey of a thousand words begins with a single question. We've covered a lot of ground, from the importance of strong introductions to the power of engaging questions and calls to action. Remember, writing is a conversation. It's about connecting with your reader, sparking their curiosity, and leaving them with something to ponder. So, the next time you sit down to write, ask yourself, what question can I ask that will truly resonate with my reader? What call to action can I use to keep the conversation going? The answers to these questions will be your guideposts, leading you and your readers on a journey of discovery, one word at a time. Now tell me, what are your biggest takeaways from this essay? Share your thoughts in the comments below.